Hello, this is Ariel Harris from the Logan County Libraries, and today we're doing something fun called directed drawing. Now, directed drawing means that I have an idea of what I want you to draw, and you have to see if you can do it. So either you can draw exactly what I'm drawing looking at the screen, or you can make it a mystery, turn away from the screen and just listen to my voice. You need a piece of paper, any color, and a pen, pencil, crayon, or other drawing implement. I'm going to be using words like circle, rectangle, oval, and other things like that. If you aren't sure what that looks like, then here's an example. A circle, an oval, or a half oval, and a rectangle, or a half rectangle. All right. Now, if you want this to be a mystery, turn away now. Otherwise, you could follow along. First, I want you to draw a small circle in the middle of your paper. And then I want you to draw a much larger circle around that small circle. Then, going back to your smaller circle in the middle, draw a small line down. From the bottom of your small line, I want you to draw a curve just to your right. From that same line down, I want you to draw another curve to your left. Above your small circle in the middle, I want you to draw one dot on the right side and one dot on the left side. Below the, uh, the half curves there, I want you to draw two small rectangles or half rectangles. Below the big circle, I want you to draw a half oval or an arch. Then below that, I want you to draw a smaller half oval or arch. Right underneath your smaller half oval or arch, I want you to draw two small circles, one on the left and one on the right. Between the two small circles, I'd like you to draw a line. And then from the bottom of your half oval or arch to the other half oval or arch, I'd like you to draw another line going horizontally. And then on the left side, I'd like you to draw another line. Above your large circle on the top right, I'd like you to draw a half arch. And then on the left side, I'd like you to draw another half arch at the top of your circle. Now look up. What do you see? What did you draw? Does it look a little bit like a groundhog? Now you can decorate it, maybe give it an expression, a smile, maybe fill in the ears. If you didn't draw it exactly like that, that's totally fine. It's kind of fun to see if you can get something that looks a little bit like it. Or maybe my directions confused you. Try it with a friend and see if you can help them to draw what's in your mind too. Have a great day. Bye-bye.